Hi, scholars. Today I wanted to read a book with you. It's called Strictly No Elephants. And that's what the sign says. Strictly No Elephants. Now, when I read this book, I'm gonna take off the dust jacket because you know I don't really like to read with dust jackets. Um, do you think that the picture is gonna be the same on this dust jacket and on the cover? Or do you think they're gonna be different? So give me a thumbs up if you think the pictures will be the same. Give me a thumbs down if you think they're gonna be different. Let's find out. Oh, they're the same this time. And let me open up the entire book so you can get a, a view. Okay. Strictly no elephants. We have just like a bluish end pages or end papers. And the title page says Strictly No Elephants. Written by Lisa Manchev and illustrated by Tain Yu. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. So he, I wonder what it would be like to have a pet elephant. No one else has an elephant. So you can see in some of the illustrations, like she has a pet bird, someone has a pet cat, pet fish. What do we have on this page? I see a dog, a couple of dogs actually. And then we see our main character here with his pet elephant. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. He is very thoughtful. Uh, he is a very thoughtful sort of walk. I'm sorry, his is a very thoughtful sort of walk. Look what that elephant is doing. Being very thoughtful, carrying that umbrella in the rain. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do, lift each other over the cracks. Today I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. I have matching scarves, how cute. Everyone else looks like they're on their way to apartment number 17 for pet day. Come along, there's a good boy. I coax him the last few feet. It'll be fine. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. What do you think the sign will say? Strictly no elephants. And she's even pointing to it, saying, read this, no elephants allowed at this pet club day. I wonder how that makes them feel to be excluded, to be left out. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do. They brave the scary things for you. Looks like it's starting to rain. And he looks sad. Do you notice anything else on this page? Somebody else looks sad on this page too. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. 
Yes, I say, but they don't allow elephants. The sign didn't mention skunks, the girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? Look up in that window. That child has an interesting pet too. A pet penguin. Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me because that's what friends do. They never leave anyone behind. Oh, look in that window. Somebody has a pet giraffe. Look at these unique pets. A pet porcupine or maybe hedgehog, I'm not sure. I see a bat, a narwhal. Oh my goodness. We can play here, one of our new friends says. All of us. And maybe that will be their clubhouse for pet day. So we paint our own sign on the door. What do you think the sign's going to say? Let's read it. It says, it used to say, strictly no strangers, no spoil sports, but you can see they put a red X on it. And now they're writing, all are welcome. So everyone can come here. Having a hard time with these pages. My tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. So they're letting in people who have kind of everyday pets, right? Like dogs, but also people who have more unique pets. because that's what friends do. <laughs> so I'm curious scholars, in this book we saw children have many different kinds of pets. If you could have any pet, any pet at all, it could be as unique as you'd like it to be. I wonder what kind of pet you would have. I think for those of you who know me well, could guess what kind of pet I would have. Yeah, I would probably have a pet owl. What about you? How about you hop on to our um, Facebook page and let me know with a little video what kind of pet you would have. All right, I'll read with you later. Bye.